water sign people this is the month of april i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back let's see what is coming up remember in order to get these extended readings you have to use the link okay and uh, um for the specific um people the pisces cancer and scorpion you have to use the timer below to get to your reading so i'm sorry for the lateness but my life is full <laughs> so here we go all right so what is coming up well, we see um friendship is going to be made i see friendship bonds is going to be made and that is good i see this is karmatic friendships um and you are going to be making some friendship bonds whatever is happening and transpiring i see that these are people traveling um some of you want to travel but you can't however this is happening some of you maybe want to visit family and have some fun time with friends but it can happen in this time i see you mature women whatever is tra tra transpiring you want to travel you want to date you want to see other people but it can't happen at this time young beautiful ladies i see you're out there you're trying to make the best of it you're having past life relationships some of you could be in past time relationship now i see a lot of communications is happening um with you guys so um this is good because some of you can't visit whoever you want to visit so i see a lot of text message going back and forward remember um here's we do the general reading and then we go to the specific people in order to see what is coming up for you guys so um when we look at friendships we're going to be making friendship bonds okay and i see that that is going to be good friendships are going to be created and uh, these friendship bonds is going to be like for people who are unable to see each other i see you're going to be creating friendship bond i see the master of deceptiveness in relationship i see some of you are just holding on to someone um because you're in a karmatic relationship and you're trying to find the best of it i see you're seeking you're going and you're seeking within and you're trying to figure out should i stay or should i go with whatever is transpiring i see some challenges is coming up with people who are in a different area than you are or is overseas i see some of you are going to decide to let go of these people because you realize that the relationship is not working out so you're just going to be keeping them as friends i see the solar plex chakra is coming up where some of you need to take your power back you're going within to realize what is transpiring and taking your power back I see some of you women just need to trust trust someone you're in a relationship with that is overseas however this is transparent just trust the person because the person has your back i see some of you want to spread your wings find new relationship find new friendships but at this moment it can't happen because of the shutdown that we're in then i see the dark um the dark fear worries worries about your relationship worries that you can't go out meet other people worries about dating worries about having fun you're tired of staying in i see multiple opportunities coming up for you ladies in love so if you ladies are looking for love i see a lot of hope a lot of new people are there and is open up for relationship choose your battle wisely whatever is transpiring i see some of you are in karmatic relationships and some of you want to end it some of you are just upset that you are so close up within some of you are dealing um with a um a fire sign person or so choose your battle wisely breed whatever is transpiring breed some of you are in karmatic relationship with a libran and uh, um, some of you are, are worried that this person might find out that there is someone else i see some of you young ladies are going to be releasing releasing someone that is in your life however this is happening and transpiring i see that you're going to be deciding to just release someone out of your life for good because you realize that this is not working out for you 
I see some of you are listening to your higher self um, about a relationship or what direction to go with a, um, a past life relationship that you're in. You're listening to your higher self because it's as if some of you are seeing the truth. I see some of you are open up um, to love, open up. Some of you are definitely realizing and kind of figuring out that maybe the relationship that I'm in is for a reason. The marriage I'm in is for a reason. However, that is transpiring and happening. I see these issues and situations are coming up. So Pisces, let's go and check you out and see what's coming up for the Pisces in love in the month of April. I see a lot of you Pisces are going to be creating friendship bonds. These are going to be good. Um, I see some of you are going to be having some challenges dealing with someone overseas if you are in a relationship with someone overseas i see you letting go of this person because it is not viable anymore to be in this relationship so i see that you guys are going to be letting go of this person and realizing uh, this relationship has uh, no future so i see um the sunshine in love i see some of you are finding love and creating positive bonds between you and other people so I see unconditional love some of you are in an unconditional love relationship and it's with a Capricorn uh, some of you is uh, um, who are in relationship with Capricorns uh, and who are connected with Capricorns I see this is the love of a lifetime I see a lot of passion and attractiveness that is coming up so if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn or a Libran or a Aries but I see you're letting go of the Aries and the Libran and you're keeping the Capricorn so however that is playing in your life I see you keeping the Capricorn and letting go of um letting go of the um the Librans and the Aries so yeah uh, some of you are just going to be keeping the Librans and the Aries as good friends and create good friendship bonds with them but um, the, you are definitely staying in the relationship with a Capricorn so let's say that you are Pisces that was seeing three different people you're going to be choosing to stay with the Capricorn now paradise there is some conflicts that some of you Pisces are having with a Virgo or a Cancer who's overseas a lot of uh, a challenge this time that is coming up and I see you're going to decide to release yourself from uh, these people okay so there is a lot of conflicts uh, um, between um, you and uh, a Virgo for some of you you and a uh, cancer for some of you who live overseas there's a lot of challenges that is happening and is transpiring and is coming up some of you trust um, um, trust Trust the situation. If you ladies have a relationship overseas, trust this person. Whatever is transpiring, I see trust is the only thing that you can do with this relationship at this moment. So if you ladies are in a relationship with an Aquarian or a Libran, I see trust is the only thing that can help you through this timeline with this relationship. Um, however, it is transpiring, I see this person really cares about you. And the only thing is that you have to trust and believe that this person is being honest and is being um, a part of your life. However, that is happening and transpiring um, because you're not there with the person. So you can only trust and believe what the person is saying. I see a lot of opportunities is coming up for you mature women. And these opportunities that is coming up is very positive with maybe new people changes in relationship with an Aquarius and with a cancer so whatever is transpiring I see um, both young and older women mature women are going to be um, meeting new people and they're going to be Aquarians or cancers okay so um, I'd say they're coming in your life however they're coming in your life especially for you young people they're going to be financially stable and they're going to be helping you out financially for the young ladies release is the end of your um, message for you guys release I see some of you are going to be releasing a scorpion and a cancer however this comes up 
and whoever these people are I see you're just going to be not taking any calls not communicating with these people um, you have decided that I need to release these people out of my life and it is a scorpion and a cancer so I see you're going to be letting go turning your backs to these people however they're coming up however they're transpiring in your world because you realize there is a um, no um, no positive energy that is coming from these people that these people um, whether in a relationship or however they're coming up in your life you're going to be like you know um, whoever these people are they're not serving the right purpose for you in your life and I see you're going to be just releasing these people and understanding that maybe it is just time um, the time has ended for you and this person or um, you and these people in your life to be released some of you could be in a relationship with either Scorpio or either Cancer and you realize, realize that these two have been going at it for quite some time and you're going to decide I'm letting go I'm letting you guys out of my life so sometimes um, these things really do happen and Pisces it is just a time especially in this month that is going to give you the time in order to make the choices and the choices that you think that is going to be better for you it's all about uh, choosing the right way and the right direction it's all about you making the decision whether or not you want to have uh, um these um, uh, uh, um scorpion or cancer because obviously they are together and uh, they are creating a sort of an issue in your life and you're deciding this is it um this um is the end because i'm taking back my life so let it go what needs to let go um love is um here for you guys so it is really a balance uh, um a balanced situation in love for you pisces so that is looking good so have a good uh, month pisces we're moving on to the cancer so cancers I see that some of you cancers are dealing with um, transition is coming up between you and another cancer um, and uh, you could be um, realizing um, that you are caught up in a relationship uh, um, with another cancer with a Libran and an Aquarian now what is going to be transpiring is that you are the master of illusion in a relationship and I see that you're going to be trying um, to um, keep a cancer because this thing is karmatic for you. But I see you could be divorcing an Aquarian or you could be keeping the Aquarian and divorcing the cancer. However way this is coming up, uh, I see a snake. I see changes is coming up in relationship because it's as if uh, um, some of you cancers realize that uh, you need to let go of two persons because you're unable to see these people and as if these people has been a, in a karmatic relationships with you so there are third party situation that you cancers are going to decide to let go of I see addiction some of you had an addiction um, towards um, some of you is a Capricorn an addiction um, towards a Taurus an addiction towards another cancer now cancer I see that a lot of you are in relationship with other cancers and I see you're detaching yourself um, from these people so um, whatever is transpiring I see you're letting go you're letting go of relationship and detaching if this Capricorn is overseas it was a karmatic relationship you used to have fun with this person but you're letting go of this person you want to have a relationship of friendship with this person you still want to keep this person in your life but you want to keep them as friendship now some of you could be divorcing divorcing an Aquarian however this is transpire or divorcing another cancer now the addiction has to do with um, a friendship bond that you have with a Capricorn so whoever this uh, whoever is in a friendship or a relationship with a Capricorn I see that this it, you're addicted to this person and um, you are now finding out that you are really addicted to this person and you're trying to release this person 
So you have to ask the person to release you and then you release the person and then you can create better um, situation in your world. Now I see some of you are having um, fun with a Libran and some of you with another Cancer. Um, however, this is, is, is playing out. The Libran could be overseas because you're texting with a person and the Cancer could be close by to where you have, you're having fun. You're going to see this person, but this Cancer is playing on your emotions. Now I see it spread your wings and uh, spread your wings, your wings and fly. And what is transpiring is that I see that some of you are coming over a heartbreak, a heartbreak and a divorce, um, an instability in a relationship that you had with an Aquarius and some of you is with a Libran. So however this is transpiring, I see you are letting go. It is like a month of letting go because you're realizing that some of you have spread your wings too much, too hopeless, and you can't... Uh, um, support all of this relationship so I see you're letting go now I see um, because of a heartbreak you are definitely letting go of uh, um, a Libran whoever this Libran is and whatever that was transpiring I see you ladies mature ladies have been dating this Libran and I see that um, you're deciding to take back your love uh, take back go within and make a choice because it's as if you were spread, um, spreading yourself too thin. Um, so you were in different relationship and now you're realizing I got to protect myself and I got to take back this energy that is happening. So we're looking at choose your battles, um, choose your battle, but your battles. Uh, and it has to do with, uh, some karmatic relationship that some of you are in. Some of you are in a karmic relationship with an um, um, a, um an Aquarius. Some of you in um with a Libran, and some of you with a Sagittarian. Now, whatever is transpiring, you're going to be finding out that one of these persons could be in third party relationship, or these these people have been seeing other people. And it's either that you're going to be battle it out or choose to be flexible. So um, you could be seeing someone and however this is happening and transpiring, whoever you're seeing is as if you're going to be realizing that they are seeing other people. And in order um, not to be alone, you are just going to be flexible dealing with the situation until when there is better. So you could be in a relationship um are dating someone or seeing someone and you're going to be realizing that they're dating other people and um whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring and how this is playing out in your life is that it's karmatic relationship so a lot of you are in flexible karmatic relationship with an aquarius some of you with an um a libran and some of you with a sagittarius now, what I see is that the Sagittarius is coming from a past life, and especially you young ladies, beautiful young ladies, between the energy of 25 and 45, is in this karmatic relationship with a, a, um, a um, Sagittarius person. So you are going to be making choices whether or not you stay in these relationship or you're going to be fighting it out and said whether you choose for me or I'm ending it. However way it's coming up, it is how you are going to be playing this out. The outcomes for you guys is listen to yourself. I see um, a, um, a tower moment is going to be coming down. The energy of the clock is that some of you in this month is going to be realizing, um, you know, um, the clock and um, you're going to be um, choosing. You're going to be going within, especially if you're in a relationship with a Pisces or a Virgo, you're going to be going within. And I don't realize that, uh, yeah, some of you who had taken time off from a Pisces or a Virgo, you're going to be realizing that maybe these people are the one I should be with. Um, I see you're going to be healing yourself, okay? I see you're going to be going within and connecting with the higher self and decide, 
I have to heal myself with this issue and the situation. If I don't heal myself, I can't move forward. Despite the hurt and pain from a Pisces or from a Virgo, I got to heal myself and I got to let it go and I got to move forward. So this is the month where it's all about working on relationships. It's about working on issues. It's about understanding the issues and situations that you're having in these relationships. And this month is only affecting the people who have said so. Again, if you're in a relationship um, with an, another Cancer um, and a Libra, and, a, and a, you could be realizing that you're in a third party relationship. There is a lot of third party relationship that is happening where you're going to be realizing, I got to make some changes for the people who have heart was heartbroken. I see you're going to be healing your heartbreaks at this time and realizing that I need to heal in order to spread my wings and fly. So um, it is really a time where you're going to be going in and thinking about your relationship. Where am I? Which direction I want to go? Do I want to play the fields or do I want to just have um, a mundane relationship with just another person sharing my life with this person? So it is a month where you cancers are going to be thinking for yourself in order to understand where you are and what direction you are going in in your relationship. So I'm wishing you cancers luck. We are going to be moving forward and we're looking at uh, the scorpions. Scorpions, I see you're having um, the night of seeking. Um, uh, scorpions, you're going to be finding out something about a karmatic relationship you got caught up with, with a Mars and a Cancer. You're going to be leaving them behind. height. That means you Cancers, um, you thought that this Aries and this Cancer um, was, uh, you know, um, the, the end of a card. You took a risk on them. You gambled on them and you're realizing you have made the wrong mistake with these people. And I see that this was a karmatic relationship. And I see you're going to be leaving these people behind because you took a gamble on them. It didn't work out. And you're going to be understanding they were not meant for me. They were not meant to be with me. And um, you're going to be, especially the Aries, you thought that this Aries was meant for you, but and you're you you went within and you're gonna go within in this month and understand that these people are from my past they are karmas that I've been working on what is so beautiful about you um scorpion is that you're taking back your power you have gone within you have the energy of the mirror you're mirroring each other and seeing image and relationship reflects of your own wound um with um an Aries and a Leo. Oh my God. So an Aries and a Taurus. So some of you, as you take back your power, take back your power um, from relationships, you're going to be taking back your power and then you are going to be meeting um, a uh, Aries or an a Taurus. So some of you will meet an Aries. Some of, some, of, some of you will meet a Taurus, but they're going to be mirroring like what you're looking for but um this is um that they're, they're manipulating their energies so, so um th this could be love magic so be aware because it's mirror so um in order to find out if it's a love magic if someone pull you in a relationship with love magic all you have to do is put mirrors around you and that will break it and you will see that this is not real it is um it is manipulated it is uh, this uh, aries or this uh, leo is um placing a mirror to shadow who i am around them and i see this deceptiveness is going to be over heartbreaks is coming up a lot of worries um deeply wounded deeply hurt sadness separation breakup feeling loss um the darkness of the soul is coming up for you scorpions um and um i see um for Leiden. um so some of you um scorpions are going to be confront 
um, confronting yourself. I see some of you could be uh, divorcing or some of you are alone, no relationship. And now um, you are connected with the darkness of fear within the soul. Okay, this is the darkest fear that is coming up because you can't date, you can't go out and date. So um, you're a little bit heartbroken. You're alone, you're saddened, you're lost. And I see that some of you have just gotten divorced or just ended a relationship. I see some of you are definitely going to be ending a relationship with a Libran. You are heartbroken because you found out that a, a Libran has played you big time. And whoever this Libran is, you're so heartbroken with this person. And you are definitely, and, and twice the Librans are coming up where I see heartbreaks for some of you deeply hurt by a Libran and the deceptiveness that a Libran has done to you and very heartbroken. And it was someone that you were dating for some time and you are so saddened. Your heart is so saddened. I see, um, again, this, the relationship is over. No second chance grow and uh, transform from this relationship with a Libran. So I see you need to breathe. You need to let go. Um, Scorpion, you need to understand that this relationship um, is ended. Whatever this Libran has done to you, um, they, your spirit guides have come in in order to remove this Libran from your life. And I see you're going to be meeting new people. It could be another Scorpion. Um, it could be a Taurus. And it could be um, um, a Sagittarian. Because whatever is to inspire, whoever this Libran is, some of you could be divorcing this Libran but and, and, and ending this marriage or ending a relationship because this person has deeply hurt you, that you have gone to the dark places. But I see after all of that, is uh, happening um you're going to be meeting another scorpion um a taurus and a sagittarius so some of you who are going through this heartbreak with divorce especially heartbreak with divorce um your marriage has come to a end your relationship has come to an end i see a new uh, scorpion is coming in for you and um uh, a new Taurus for some of you and a new Sagittarius. This is new land. So that means these are the people who's coming in. So especially um, for the divorcee, um, you're going to be meeting new people and they're coming in. Now, I see some of you need to open up to a Capricorn, whoever this Capricorn is. I see um, engagement is here with you and this Capricorn. So this is good. So I see um, some of you could be open up to a Capricorn. Some of you are going to, um, this is um, weather size thinking where um, it is Venus and, and, and the moon, Venus and the moon. So this is wonderful and this is positive because I see a lot of you are going to be opening up uh, um, to the Capricorn. You're going to be asking the Capricorn um, to get engaged to you, you are going to be, or the Capricorn is going to ask you to engage whatever, however this comes up, but you could be also asked by a Taurus or by a Cancer. So engagement is in the picture where, um, as you, if you, um, take this ring, um, it is going to be a love of a lifetime. So the overall energies is that for you, Scorpion, I see, um, long-term stability is coming in because someone wants to engage to you and this person could be a taurus a capricorn or a cancer go for it whatever you will because this is going to bring long-term stability in your world so engagement is here for you guys so this is good um wonderful alignment of energy is coming up um with the energy of engagement is that whoever these people are the relationship is going to be you know, from engagement to marriage. It's going to be a very long lasting relationship. It's built on strong stability and strong foundation. So Scorpion, it has been um, what it is a whole lot that is going on in love um, for each and every person. So be aware of this and uh, be gracious for what you have. Um, engagement, you guys are coming out on top. So an engagement, an offer of marriage is going to be coming in. So this is really wonderful. I love you guys. Please share, share, share these videos. I love you. Namaste until next time.